everyone, how's it going? I've just got back from work and I was going to film a gluten-free scone video but unfortunately my oven here has died and only the stove top works. So I thought, you know, it's been a rough week. What am I gonna do to make myself feel a little better? We're gonna make some pancakes. I haven't had pancakes for months. Um, I don't necessarily go for them and usually if I go out for breakfast, nothing's gluten-free. So, you know, what's better than a Wednesday afternoon pancake pre-dinner dinner thing? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put the camera down as normal, go through the ingredients, it's pretty straightforward, um, and hopefully my oven will be fixed and we can make some scones. But until then, let's get started. Um, I am trying to use a light at the moment because it is quite dark, so hopefully that's not too bad. I know this thing is being a bit shiny at the moment, but we'll get rid of it. So what I've got here is a bowl. What you can hear behind me is three tablespoons of butter melting. That's the only thing I've done pre-film, just to kind of get things moving. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna put our sieve in our bowl. That actually fits really perfectly. We're gonna grab a pair of scissors. Sorry guys, I should have done this earlier, but I uh, just got random in the mood. I'm actually trying for the first time Woolworths brand gluten-free flour. Usually I have a different brand that I get from a place that I work at. So when I saw this, it was pretty cheap actually. Um, so I'm a bit excited. For just me, I think I'm only going to do a cup. Now I should get my measuring cup out, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. Just a cup. Probably a little bit more, probably a cup and a bit. That's okay. And we're going to sieve this um, just to get it nice and fluffy. But before I do that, I also need a quarter of a tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of sugar. Nice and sweet. Although I think I might. Uh, you can always add sweet toppings, I suppose, but I might just add two tablespoons because I feel like the original recipe is for a bit of a savory. Um, also get some of these tubs, Kmart, they're amazing. And this is my Himalayan pink salt, getting a bit low. Might have to buy some more. I'm only gonna use a quarter of a tablespoon because these are quite big tablespoons. So on top of that, because we do want fluffy big pancakes, we are going to use some baking powder. I'm going to use quite a lot of this because I want it to be super fluffy. You know, I want big fluffy flavor. And I don't think, once you add the butter to this and whatnot, it doesn't really put too much flavor into the baking powder. But I am doing two big tablespoons, so I might do a little more. Because we're going to cover that with, you know, delicious toppings, so we should have any flavor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix this all in and then we should be able to move on to our wet ingredients. This step we're going to be going through one and a quarter cups of milk. This is almond milk here. You don't need to use almond milk. I just had some. I'm not really that fussed on almond milk to be honest. Um, I know people really like it but I just think it's quite boring. So this recipe calls for one and a quarter cups of milk, but I am just testing mine. My neighbour decided it was a really good time to play loud car music. Um, then we're going to add one egg into this and we're also going to add that butter that we have melting on there. If you let your butter go a little bit further, it will go this really beautiful sort of brown colour. It'll be so tasty in this, so I'll just go grab it now. Okay, so you guys, we've got three tablespoons of butter. It might be a little more. I just don't imagine. I really like the taste of butter. So we're going to put all of that in here. Let it drip for a little bit. But whatever you do, don't wipe this inside because we're going to be using that to cook our pancakes in. That way we don't have to get out any new butter, or we don't have to cook in oil, we're going to cook right in this butter mix here. Next step, whisk it all together. And now don't get too stuck up on lumps. I know people want things to be super smooth, but sometimes it just can't happen. Sometimes there's a couple of little lumps of flour, but we deal. Although I think with this batter that I've just let it get a little bit too runny, a little bit too much milk, a little bit too much egg. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pump in just a little bit more flour. And this is sort of the excitement of baking um, things like pancakes, because even though with a lot of recipes you do want it to be perfect, I feel like you can get away with a bit of laziness with pancakes. Um, when it comes to something like a cake, that, that kind of matters a bit more. But with the pancake, you're with it for the whole process, the cooking, um, the mixing, everything. So I think you can get away with letting it just be a bit more rough. 
but look how much better that looks. You know, it's thick, but it hangs off the whisk really good, really easy. You know, really nice. If you want yours a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner, depending on how thick you want your pancakes to be, adjust it, you know. I was thinking about even adding a little bit of food dye to make this really cute and thudly, um, but I might cook the first few just plain so you can really see the colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this mess up here. I'm going to move us over to the stove and I'm going to cook up some delicious gluten-free pancakes. Everyone, we're back at our pan here. Let's see the butter that we left from what we were originally cooking. I've got our beautiful, look how sick this is. That's going to make some really good fluffy pancakes. So what I'm going to aim to do is this plane that will fly above me. Sorry about that guys, I had a plane fly above me conveniently when I was trying to record. You know, they don't fly above when you're cleaning the kitchen, but they definitely do when you're recording. So I'm going to try and get three in this batch so I can stack them up nice and high. Um, you can use ringlets for yours if you want them to be really square, oh sorry, not square, if you want them to be really circle, um, or you can use square ones if that's what you've got, that'd be so cool. I don't have that. I'm just going to spoon them out old fashioned like. Watch them puff up and yeah, it'll be amazing. So I'll let that cook. I'll let you guys watch. I'll speed the camera up and then when they're ready to flip, we'll flip them over. Okay guys, I sort of ignored these babies for a little bit so I hope they're not burnt. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate them a little bit. They're really fluffy. This one here is definitely ready to move because he's just sliding around. So let's pray and hope that this flips correctly or I'm going to look like a dumbass. Woo! That's not too bad. It's got a little bit of colour on it. I've definitely seen pancakes with better colour on them. But you know, we're definitely getting there. Apparently the first batch is always meant to be the worst. So that means that's the batch I get to eat. But the joke's on everyone. I live by myself, so I eat whatever I want, whenever I want. Guys, I thought it'd be best to bring up the uh, camera to the pancakes. You know, they kind of look like fish cakes for some reason. Don't know why. So what I like to put on my pancakes is, I've got a bit of lemon curd here. So I'm going to get a big spoon of that. Um, we're going to do this with one hand, so forgive me. Um, I think it's nice and soft and gooey. Put a big spoon of lemon curd on there. Yum, that's the side. And then next we're going to get some icing sugar. This part I'm going to have to do with two hands, so just give me a second. Alrighty, I'm trying to balance this with my, my body, so please forgive me. And just for beautifulness, I'm just going to add a touch of icing sugar. A delicious lemon curd on top. Three beautiful pancakes. Oh, I'm just so excited. Make sure you guys, if you did enjoy this video, definitely subscribe, leave comments, anything like that. If you did want me to make anything special that you like, make sure to pop that in the comments as well. But until then, hopefully my oven's fixed and we can make those delicious scones. But I will talk to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.